Hello, I'm Bradley and welcome to my channel. OK, first things first, if you're new here, please subscribe. I would really, really appreciate it if you would. And of course, that would really help me in where I'm trying to get my channel to be. If not, no worries. Just sit back and have a watch. And hopefully eventually you may do. <laughs> OK, so first things first, scalp massaging. Why on earth would you want to do such a thing? Many, many reasons, in fact. And you know what? Before it sort of became a little bit more of a hype now is what you're reading more and more about it online in regards to sort of hair concerns, hair growth, um, scalp conditions, that type of thing, where we are told now that scalp circulation and massaging really, really helps the health of our hair and helps the health of our scalp. And of course, relaxation. I actually started this when I was a lot younger and I started suffering with tinnitus. Um, tinnitus is a sort of a loud sort of ringing sound in your ears and that's caused from, for me anyway, it was caused by hearing loss. And what I used to find is I used to sort of be really quite overbearded with it sometimes and I used to sort of start massaging the sides of my hair like this. It wasn't until sort of in 2015 I started suffering with some hair loss in the front which was a patch and then it sort of started to thin quite considerably throughout the front behind my hairline. It grew back and I believe it was all a mixture of stress, health, um, not eating properly, so not eating enough in my instance, um, and a whole host of problems. Um, a few a few uh, products which I used really helped uh, bring my hair back, but I did actually read up back then that massaging the scalp would help hair grow thicker, fuller, and come through healthier. So it's something which I've sort of dropped in and out of for quite a while, but very often I always take time when I'm shampooing my hair off, I'm conditioning my hair, to just gently, deeply, with a bit of tension, not sort of stupidly hard, so so you're really sort of really integrating and really going at the scalp. Nothing too strenuous, nothing too heavy. Just sort of lightly, but a little bit of pressure behind there, just so you're really stimulating the scalp and getting that skin sort of the circulation going, you're getting the skin moving, and you're just helping the scalp sort of free up, if you were to speak, uh, sort of that sort of tension in your scalp, if you had a bit of a difficult day, a bit of a tough day, or you've got a bit of a headache, sometimes, you know, freeing up the skin on your scalp and that sort of massages or you're shampooing your hair can really, really help. So my clip all about today is, of course, lots of times we ask these questions and I've noticed that I've come across the question being asked, does scalp massage help hair become more healthier or sort of does scalp massage make our hair thicker or or all these sorts of questions around scalp massaging. Um, so my sort of point across today is actually, in my opinion, yes, it does help. Now, if you were to if you were to have never, ever touched your scalp at all, just very quickly, sort of if you're quite vigorous, sort of when you shampoo your hair, you don't really bother too much. You don't really pay too much attention to your follicles. You don't really pay too much attention to your scalp and you're blessed with thick, amazing hair, then fantastic. But if you've got fine thinning hair or you've got really super fine see-through hair, of course, all can still look amazing with doing the right tricks and using the right products. But if you've got that type of hair, then you may want to take some time and start massaging your scalp. Start taking the time to really sort of loosen up your scalp and really, and when I say loosen up your scalp, I mean just a gentle sort of massage when you're shampooing your hair, when you're conditioning your hair, and do that for a couple of minutes. I don't mean stand there in the shower and do that for 20 minutes, half an hour, just literally three, four minutes maybe, or you could count or sing a song, I often do, um, and then time you finished, you you really took the time, you've massaged your scalp, of course, that's getting the blood flow, which is the whole thing about this process, that you're getting the blood flow, the circulation moving in your scalp. So you, those hair cells are being stretched, they're being sort of manipulated to sort of enhance their sort of health, the blood flow, all the nutrients sort of in our body, the scalp gets a chance then to enjoy all of that. Now, it's really important to take time to look after your scalp because, of course, hair is classed as a non-essential process, non-essential item in the body. So what that basically means that everywhere else in the body gets all the nutrients, all the energy, first of all, then if there's anything left over, the hair gets it. So, for example, if your diet's not particularly great or your or your scalp conditions or your sort of hair care sort of practices aren't amazing, then your hair is going to really start to notice this. So, number one, have a look at your diet. And if you are finding that your hair is changing, I always say, first of all, always speak to a medical professional. It's what I done when I started noticing problems in 2015. Then the second visit was the hairdressers, of course, to get a style which would help me cover up what was going on. Then I often uh, sort of carried these practices on in now 
in recent years it's happened in 2015 i learned from i learned from this in essence and now i try to keep all of these sort of good practices sort of making sure that i do eat enough i try to keep stress at bay but of course we all know that that's really easy to say but never so easy to actually put into pr into practice um but all these things so just just taking a moment to really sort of look after your scalp and actually even just taking two, three minutes when you shampoo your hair, when you wash your face or anything like that at all, when you're getting ready in the morning or when you're showering or bathing at night, just next time you do, take a moment, particularly if you've got thin or fine hair and you're a man or a woman, take a moment to really invigorate the scalp, really sort of get that blood flow pumping in the follicles and you will start to see a little bit of a difference, I want to say, in the awareness of your hair growing and you'll start to feel sort of places in your hair possibly which are a little bit thicker, a little bit thinner. And what I noticed um, as I started to do this more and more often is you, you become more aware of sort of your hairline, the density of the hair in your hairline. If there's a particular area in your scalp where you find, oh, that's a little bit thinner. If you sort of just concentrate on that every couple of days, giving your scalp a real deep massage, what you do find is that what you what you actually find first of all is you'll see more hairs on your hand. Now that first of all is necessarily a good sign because what you're doing is you're getting rid of all those sort of dead hair cells. You're really starting to invigorate, stretch out the hair scalp cells, and of course that's a good process because in way what's going to happen that circulation is boosting. New hair is going to grow in place. So you can't guarantee any of these practices are absolutely going to solve problems, but they are certainly going to help. So hair hair massaging. I will be absolutely honest, is not going to solve hair loss. But there are lots of talk, there are lots of sort of reports and, and sort of so many things online which tell us that actually taking just a few moments a day to invigorate and massage your scalp can help hair thickness, scalp health, and help with a whole host of different issues going on. So if you find that your hair isn't particularly great or you're having a little bit of more of a shedding than what you would like or you're seeing more hair um, when you're styling your hair whether you are a man or a woman just take a moment to really invigorate your scalp and really get the blood flow pumping because there are so many benefits to be had from taking a moment to massage your scalp number one relaxation feels great looks after sort of the stress levels in your head if you're a bit sort of stressed you're a little bit sort of uncomfortable a bit sort of not feeling great a scalp massage is amazing perhaps get your partner your wife your husband or something to to do it for you. You know, the shoulders, the head, the scalp, all of it. Fantastic. Next, health of the hair. It's going to really start looking after those follicles. It's going to start really sort of nourishing the follicles. The roots are going to be starting to stretch. They're going to start to absorb more nutrients and they're going to start to be able to sort of have that little bit more increased health. So in theory, potentially, you could see better hair growth and you could see ultimate thickness. Now, I wouldn't say that it would stop hair loss, but of course, if you are having uh, problems with sort of improper or or not great hair care practices then of course there's a potential bit helping but what i don't want to sit here and say that it's going to help cure hair loss because it's not because if it was just a scalp massage which would sort our hair loss problems out everybody would walk around with huge max masses of hair and of course that's not the case but prevention is always better than cure so if you are using essential oils on your scalp for hair growth i know lavender oil rosemary oil all of these types of great things coconut oil are really great for the hair and the scalp then of course take a moment use a few drops or however you use your oils and then take a moment and really massage and invigorate the scalp because in turn that's going to help absolutely tenfold it's going to help the scalp health it's going to help the skin it's going to help the follicles it's going to help you and it's going to help the overall health of your hair there are so many benefits to scalp massage um and i really think that it doesn't have to be difficult it really doesn't have to be two three minutes when you're shampooing your hair one couple of seconds even when you're massaging your hair with the conditioner doesn't have to be difficult at all or if you're using sort of a serum in your hair for example i have recently just done a clip on regards to a denser hair serum when i put that throughout my hairline i take a moment to just really massage the product in take a moment yourself to do that it feels great and there are benefits to be had in terms of improving the health of your hair improving uh reduced amount of hair loss and i and i mean that naturally so i don't mean if you've got sort of um if you've got alopecia or anything like that, I mean the natural hair fall in terms of not hair loss, so the natural hair fall. So, for example, it's going to really sort of just bring out a bit more of a balanced fall rather than if you wear a style like what I do all day and then wash your hair out in the evening. You're going to see a huge sort of loss. If you were to do that sort of gradually, so every couple of days massaging your scalp, those sort of dead hairs, which, of course, 
clinging to the scalp until they're ready to fall away. What you're going to be doing is getting a better, a better balance. So therefore, you're going to have an increased uh, sort of an increased sort of balance of fall rather than all in one go. You may see a little bit more sort of over days. So therefore, you're not going to have that huge overhaul of hair fall. Um, so there's many, many benefits to be had. And of course, if you have dry hair, massaging the scalp is really, really great to, of course, get those oils throughout the hair to really get the hair um, sort of breathing, living, sort of, and really sort of coming to life. So hair massage has so many benefits. And I hope from my clip today that you take a moment just to have a look at your scalp and the health of your hair and scalp. Because of course, if you haven't got a healthy scalp, then you haven't got healthy hair. Something to think of anyway. Okay, so on that note, thank you very much indeed for sharing um, for sharing this clip with me. Thank you very much for your company. As ever, it is an absolute privileged um, and thank you very much and if you do have any questions or anything at all or any thoughts or anything like that around scalp massage then please leave them down below and I will get back to you as quick as I can and literally from the bottom of my heart thank you very very much indeed because recently the comments and things I've had are just absolutely incredible so just a little bit of a shout out there to my subscribers and viewers thank you very much indeed for that okay so until next time I wish you the greatest of scalp and hair health <laughs> and until next time we will see you then bye bye now